Thank you for staying with us. Uh, let's quickly bring you the news update at this time. The Inspector General of Police, Kaede Agbetokun, has handed over 20 medical students of the universities of Maiduguri and Jos, who were recently rescued by security forces in Benue State, to their school authorities. The victims spent eight days in captivity. Sifon Isin has details. It's barely three days of freedom for these medical students of the universities of Maiduguri and Jos after spending eight days in captivity. They were rescued by security forces led by the police following an operation in a forest in Benue State. During the operation, our officers engaged the kidnappers in a well-coordinated tactical offensive. I am pleased to inform you that the kingpin of this notorious gang was neutralized during an exchange of fire with our operatives. While two other members of the gang were arrested, and their weapons recovered. These individuals are currently in our custody where they are providing valuable information that will help us dismantle their criminal network. Seven other kidnapped victims also regained freedom. Other passengers, five of them, and two other victims who had previously fallen victim to these heinous criminals were also freed. The kidnapped victims are glad to have regained freedom, so are vice chancellors of their universities. The majority of us, when this thing happened, we weren't quite sure uh, what was going to happen. But, but we took the, the plunge immediately as a university, reported to all the security agencies, and they, and they took everything possible. They made everything possible. I must uh, IGP commend you know, your men who worked under very, very difficult circumstances, very difficult terrain, to be able to rescue these our students. I also want to use this opportunity to appreciate and thank all Nigerians, because indeed all Nigerians have been praying. We are really happy that we have a police force that is capable of performing this miracle, because I'm sure most people were pessimistic at the beginning, but people were praying. So I would like to, first of all, sincerely thank the President of uh, this country, His Excellency, Professor, uh, President Gola Amatibu. This brings closure to an incident that put the country on edge. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.